Alrighty, we're continuing on. This is uh, part two, and brew day is long, so there's this is gonna be a very l numerous, serious, long series covering brew day. Because again, there are a lot of quests, so I'm still picking up quests. I'm still in the bar of Brel, and I'm just going through the quest rewards. And what I was saying was. Um, this small Thurgoden distillery, of course, is nice by itself, but if you want, you can also use it. It is a component for the mechanized uh, distilleries, and those are super nice. Um, so that's probably... I really don't want to get it with this tune because I'd rather get this. I love that shield. I have this shield on my warden and I really really like it I also like unfortunately you can only get one so um, that's the axe and I really like it too and um, if possible I'll probably try and get it next year but that's a ways off so I will probably get the um, shield because as you can see on my tune I carry you can see the shield on my back so that's probably what I'll be getting but I will show you guys an example of what the small Thurgoden um, distillery can do at its max level which um, I'll show that to you so we're just gonna go on and accept it because I've already built one on my carpenter so <laughs> and you do need extra things for it so I'll tell you about that as well and then last but not least, at least as far as picking up quests, I'm then going to visit the merchant over there and pick up some things. Do want to point out the uh, buzzed here, Snoogle's portable flying kegerator, because that's just too classic. Oh, up, oh, up, oh, to the left, to the left. Alright, so now we're going to talk with Snoogle Blitzed, and he is blitzed. Well, hello there! Hi. Well, hello there! You already said that. Oh, I did? Well, then you must need a drink. I must need a drink. Sure, I'll have a drink. Hey, Buzzer, pour this one some of your special stuff. It's like, do I really want to drink from that thing? Sure you do. It is a most wonderful clockwork concoction. Well, if you say so. Well, hello there! Are we at this again? Oh, I'm sorry, we must have already met. See, I'm just so lost in thought. In thought? It seems more like you're drunk. Well, yes, I'm that too. I must remember where I left them and what I did. And I was on my way to Brel's bar when I think I left them. But what did you lose? I have over the years of intensely studying Brew Day, intensely studying, <laughs> come up with four objects that hold great power during the Brew Day Festival. And you're just not there yet? Oh no, I could be. But I have a huge presentation tomorrow about the very subject. And if I drink the gnomish spirits required to be in the state where the powers show themselves, I will never make the presentation. So you have this special spirits in a bottle. Yes, yes. And if you drink from it, you will be able to see the objects of great power. Alright, why don't you hand it over? I am not sure I can trust you with it. If you knew, you could give the presentation to the council, and then where would I be? What, what council? Oh, you're a tricky one, you are. Now you're just being foolish, little gnome. Well, hello there! Listen, do you want my help or not? Help with what? You were talking about finding objects of power on Brew Day. You even asked me to go get them for you. I did? Well, you will need this, then. It's my flask. If you lose it, I'll be very angry. But let me tell you a secret. These things you are after, you can only see them once you've taken a sip from a flask. Thank you. Now, where shall I start? The first object of power lies in the savannah, but it can only be seen under the right circumstances. It fouls its own kind, although much smaller in size. Okay, just so you know, I'm just going to go through what it is while, while I'm doing it. Otherwise, I might forget. So what he's talking about is the common lands and a pink elephant. Okay, and then, and the next? The next flies in the sky above its home. It seems silly to its siblings and to the ones it knows. Even the dead around cannot help but laugh when it oinks. Okay. Now, 
this is in Thundering Steeps, and it's uh, the Thunder Mist Village, and it's a flying pig in a barn. So I think I'm losing you again. Have another drink. Hello? Did you bring that for me? Yes, yes, drink up. You're about to tell me about the third item. Oh, silly that. It's small and fast and has a tail, but when you catch it, you will know its power. I last saw it on a beach coloring its scales, but it ran away too fast for me to gather. Okay, he's talking about a lizard toy, and it's in the fear rot right off the docks. Okay, so okay, okay, and the last object of power. It talks to you, and yet it should not. It goes great with corned beef and brew. But when it talks to you, you... Is that it? Any other hints? Oh, and before I leave that, basically it's supposed to be a talking cabbage, but when you see it, it don't look like a talking cabbage. In fact, I have a petamorphing wand uh, that I gave to my, um, that I got on my carpenter, because she is a conjurer, and I think it's adorable, but it doesn't look anything like a cabbage. So is that it? Any other hints? Oh yeah, it grows in a very enchanted place, and the one with the tail lives on the outskirts of the jungle. Oh, which reminds me, the cabbage is in the enchanted lands near the docks. Um, the flying one lives above a small village in the hills, and I think I told you where to find the first one. It's like, okay, I'll return, and your presentation will be saved. So I'll automatically get Snoogle's party keg, which is not even remotely impressive, particularly when, since it's a gnome, but, you know, it's a house item. The Petamorph Wand Talking Cabbage. Like I said, I have this. I think it's cute. And um, I have it and I use it on my uh, Conjurer for because it's only usable on combat pets. So basically your Conjurer, I think Mystic, Beastmaster, and uh, Necromancer. So I have it. I think it's cute. I have not seen it talk, which is disappointing. Um, a Strange Elephant Plushie. And I got one of these. Um, basically, my halfling is has like a zoo, basically, because <laughs> I got this and the cow. I plan on getting a pig for her, <laughs> but I love the pink elephant, so a pig plushie, a small lizard plushie, which to me doesn't really look like a lizard. It looks like an alien, but whatever. And then a strange cabbage plushie, which the only difference, I mean, basically it's a, it's a, it's the, it's the same thing as the other one. It's just a house item instead of, you know, your pet, you know, for people who don't have pets. So there you go. So accepting the quest. Well, hello there. Take my flask. I think I forgot to give it to you earlier. You remember how to use it, don't you? Do I remember how to use a flask, Lord? It's so wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Be back later. And that's it for all the quests that are in here. So now it's time for the most important part of our day, the merchant. So first I'm going to show you all the things that you can just purchase with the, uh, with the tokens. Um... You can get, if you're a subscriber, because you'll always get double, so uh, you can get easy within the first few quests, like good 40 or so coins. Easy. Um, and that's without... Um, oh, there I go with the elms. That is without using them or uh, turning in quests and getting the coins as a reward if you've already you know done this of course from past few days or probably not even watching this video but <laughs> if for some reason you are um, and you just don't like any of the others um, you can obviously get more tokens faster so to speak and there are repeatable so you can always get them that way including a race I have not had a festival yet that did not have a race so here we go Strange Cabbage. So if you don't want to use a quest reward to get the Strange Cabbage for your house, there you go. Armored Knoll Plushie. Barrel Room Door. I have bought the. It's expensive. I don't like the fact that they're that expensive, but it is a lovely door. A really nice door. 
boar's head wall trophy which I plan on getting for my ranger so I'm gonna have to drag my ranger through all this well not all of it but at least enough to get the trophy boozy glow skimmer these are little floaty things and that's pretty much what they look like but they're really tiny I don't I don't quite get it but you know if you're into that bouncy girlton chest what's cool about these they also had uh, basically a snow one from Frostfell, and they will launch you up in the air so if you put it in your house don't put it in a room with low ceilings <laughs> it's not nearly as fun then we have our brew day crafting recipes so I'm gonna get a set of these and we'll go through those and then this is what I'm talking about as soon as I get to it I'll show you what you can do with those small thurgadin then the um, briarwood cake door again quite expensive and because it is you know obviously circular more like an octagon but still it's circular unless you build a house or I, I think the the one uh, prestige home that comes with a hobbit hole already has a door so I like it but I don't have anything that I can use it for and it's expensive this the bubbling K cordon you get after you complete the pubs and subs which is basically a crafting quest you have to craft up some items from the list and then you will automatically get this and then you can come back and buy extras if you want similarly are the um, bubbling cake streamers um, again you have to basically craft a bunch of quote-unquote furniture from the recipes and then uh, you will automatically get one of these and then you can come back and buy others if you want I've bought some of these as decoration for a house let's see then the greenfield squares these are nice I um, plan on buying a in fact I'll buy some right now I plan on buying quite a few of these as you can hear because normally when I want these green squares that basically look like grass I get them from the moonlight enchantment and that's a pain in the butt when compared to this that I can just pay cash so that's why I'm just gonna get a bunch of them and leave them in storage somewhere so that if I need grass I'll just have it and I won't have to spend the tokens spend more tokens because I've already done it um, at the moonlight enchantment and I can use it for other stuff like the plants green stained glass square and hopefully I can show you I have a room that I've decorated with these the healthy hops vine this is quite large you can of course uh, trim it down locked barrel room this is basically a replica of Brel's bar unfortunately the door does not open we have one of these in our guild hall we got one for the guild hall and uh, yeah we were a little disappointed that the door doesn't open granted we should have expected it since it says locked barrel room but still it would have been cool if the door would have opened even if it was completely empty then the petamorph wand of animated hops Again, that's on your combat pet. Pick Claw Goblin Plushie. A pot of wake up juice. I'm not sure what that's for, honestly. The Runny Eye Shiny Keeper Plushie. And one of the quests, this, this has significance uh, in, for, in regard to one of the quests. Snowfang Thief Plushie. Which I actually think it's cute but I doubt I'll get one wake up juice again I I don't know 
and a uh, wild boar pet. And that is that as far as what you can buy from the Brew Day Merchant. So I am going to scribe all these lovely recipes. Then I will show you. Oops. I will show you. Because I already have a filter. These are all the things that you can make. And I've been a making. So, again, like I said, bangers and mush. A laminate stone torch. Blue luminescent stone torch. These are pretty nice. I have some of these. They're also you have to uh, for that for the quest. Where not the quest for the um, I don't know. I guess achievement. Where for building furniture, that's one of the things you have to build. Bottle of emerald spirits. Bottle of Haslan ice wine. Bottle of long shadow ale. Bottle of Mondo Morlet. Bottle of Sovereign Blanc, Sovereign Blanc. Bottle of Temple Street Tonic, and that is kind of an invisible bottle. I really don't like the invisible bottles because they're hard to see, <laughs> you know, on your shelf. See through, whatever. Uh, we did that one. Let's see, Bowl of Beef Stew, Brass Cup of Celebration. That's also something you have to craft for one of those achievements. Brew Day Meat Pie, Brew Day Oak Stein, Brew Day Scarf, Brew Day Top Hat. Cute. Brewer's Sampling Mug, Brown Velvet Curtain. I don't like the curtain. It it looks I don't like it. I just I don't like it, but it's it's cool. Bruiser's Hefty Stein people who like to whack people with steins. <laughs> Case of aged port. Cracked blue stone cup. Dark beer stein. Fizzle mug. Flowered grass curtain. Now, I like these. I'll probably make a set. Because of course it's the right and the left. Left and the right. Frosty tankard. Again for those who like beating the tar out of people with tankards. Goblet of fermentation. Green and white brew day streamer. Also, um, one of the things you have to uh, craft for the achievement. One of the achievements. Haslin brew day counter. That's another one that you have to craft for the achievement. Haslin stew pot. Empty. Hanging blue luminescent torch. Hanging keg of ale. Hewn stone bench. Hewn stone chair. These, of course, are very dwarven. Hewn stone counter. Hewn stone stool. Hewn stone table. Iron bound maple cake. Caladim stone torch. A critical closed stone chest. Which I believe they have something similar on one of the quests that I'll do. Which I don't get. But if you want to... Uh, if you want it, there you go. There's the open one. Just sort of, kind of, open one. Large high-hold barrel. Just a barrel. Large high-hold feast keg. Lucky mug of ale. Majdul ale rack. Majdul double ale rack. Pewter cup of imbibing. Plate of corned beef and veggies. Pot of mulled wine. Pressurized pint mug. I think the pint mug you have to make, I think, for one of the uh, achievements. Rich roll of gruel. Rivervale upright keg. These are nice. They remind me of uh, the coffee thingies. So I have made some of those. And I think you have to make them for the quest or for the achievement. Rough stone cup. Saucepan of mulled wine. Serendipitous plate of